And our last life membership of the night, ladies and gentlemen, goes to a man by the name of Dane Swan. I knew at one stage I'd be announcing that Swanee got life. <laughs> Dane Swan represents one of the greatest rags to riches fairy tale stories in the storied history of our football club, in the entire history of our football club. Drafted to Collingwood at pick 58, where we had to get him out of school. He's on the Gold Coast to turn up to training for his first run. He would become one of the truly great players and characters in the history of the Collingwood Football Club, one of the most popular players, and without doubt, one of the most dominant AFL players of his era. Let's not be kidded by Swanee's laconic way. He was an absolute superstar and dominated the competition and was a major force in building what we have here. That was the success we had through the 2000s and into the early 2010s, and of course, his performance in 2010, bringing home the Premiership to the Collingwood Football Club. He's the second number 36 to get a life membership tonight. Severio had it, and then of course Swanee. He would go on to become a Brownlow medalist in 2011, a five-time All-Australian, a three-time winner of the EW Copeland Trophy, and one of the heroes, as I said, of the 2010 AFL Premiership. 186 Brownlow votes, the most of any Collingwood player. Eighth on the all-time list of the AFL. 32 votes in winning the 2011 Brownlow was the most by a player to that stage. Premiership player, Brownlow medalist, All-Australian five times, Copeland Trophy, Bob Rose Trophy winner for best finals player on two occasions, including the 2010 final series. On Anzac Day, the big day, he won the Anzac Day medalist. He was the Lee Matthews Trophy winner for the AFLPA Most Valuable Player in 2010. He won the Coaches Award in 2010 for the AFL Coaches. He went on and won the Jim Steins Medal for the International Rules Player of the Year in 2010. He won the Herald Sun Player of the Year in 2009 and 10, the Lou Richards Medal in 2010, the Bob Rose Charlie Sutton Medalist in 2009, the RT Rush Runner-Up on two occasions, 11 and 15, so that's five times in a glory era for Collingwood. He was in the top two and the best and fairest. Throw in the J.F. McHale for fourth in 07 and the Joseph Wren Memorial Trophy in 03 and a Williamstown Premiership player with our VFL team in 2003. And you have one of the most credentialed histories of any player who's pulled on the black and white stripes. Ladies and gentlemen, as we look at the highlights of Dane Swan. Yeah, thanks, Dad. It's, uh, it's nice being around you when you hear all those nice things about yourself. I wanted to <laughs> employ you at home. But... Um, but let's, uh, I hate to be picky, but um, I won the Brello on 34 votes, not 32. Sorry, mate. Um, <laughs> I think, and I'm, like, I'm not keeping score, but I think I won two Anzac Day medals, but we're not, no one's counting. Um, but um, yeah, uh, Ed rang me, like, it was Super Bowl Monday, it was, um, and I guess. It's not, not, uh, things don't change because I still shit myself. I was like, Ed's calling me, what have I done now? Um, so I think I missed the first phone call on purpose and I was like, uh, just you know, went through social media and made sure that nothing was being said about me at the time. So I was like, uh, looks like I'm in the clear. What the hell does Ed want? I'm like on a Monday, and especially on a Monday after a weekend, I was like, oh, what's happened? So um, obviously Ed, Ed rang me and told me, told me this, which was um, just obviously an amazing honour. So, um, which I already thought I was in it because we won the flag in 2010. So um, that was also a surprise because uh, when you win the flag, you, you obviously become life members. So I already thought I was in it, so I didn't think it would be that. Um, <laughs> so it's nice to be in here twice. But, um, but yeah, I guess um, you know, when I first started, as you know, Ed, Ed sort of said, there's no way you know, I was lucky to be drafted, to be honest. So um, to, have, to have done what I've done and um, you know, I was lucky enough to get life membership is... You know, something doesn't sit real comfortable with me, and it's, you know, as much as probably people disagree, it's, it's awkward listening to good thing, nice things about yourself, um, unless I'm saying them. So, um, but uh, it's a, you know, to be a life member of this in, incredible club um, is is truly an honour. So I have to thank the board and, and Ed for um, for recognising me, I guess, and giving me this honour because um, you know those those times there with, you know, with Ed and and Bucks and and Walshy and admit that um, I, I think we all would have struggled to see that I would have got here at some stage, but we got here, so I've, you know, I've, 
have to thank you know all my coaches along the way and, and, and Walshy and, and Greg Swan and Ed for for putting up with a lot of my stuff and and uh, helping me through and, and getting me here and I guess you know the players I need to thank because without them you know no one goes out there and does it on their own um, and you know we had a, a very successful side and I was lucky enough to be you know a decent player in our side so um, yeah I, I got I got carried along the way a lot of times but no I think I, I did some of the carrying at some stages too but um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't really have a speech. I um, was just winging like off the cuff, like most of the most of the time. But um, I don't know, the, the other one big thing about being a part of this this footy club is, you know, my life after footy. Um, there's no doubt if I had played at a lesser club or a club with not as much support and following that, that the club does, there's no way I would have of having or trying to have the career that I want um, out of footy right now. Um, so you know, I. Very, very lucky. You know, if you don't break for Collingwood, you hate them. And, you know, I was certainly no different. But to um, come into this club and see how special it is and how powerful a football club can be and um, to, to do sort of pick and choose what I wanted to do now for the you know, next stage of my career is it's certainly down to Collingwood, not because of, because of me or who I am, it's because of how powerful this, this great footy club is. So um, it certainly made the next phase of my life very, very easy. And that's because of the pies. So... Um, yeah, I, I, my, my family, and that obviously didn't think it was a big one, they're not here. Uh, mum and dad are in Marimbula, so thanks mum and dad. They've missed the last two big events. It, it might, um, when I hurt my foot in Sydney and um, now they're getting this, so mum and dad are off me. Um, and my missus is sitting on the couch at home, so uh, I'll go back and I'll put it up on the wall so she gets a pretty strong reminder of, of what I've done. But until then, um, you know, we'll move on and looking forward to hopefully watching the Pies you know, get a few more wins this year. So thank you and... Um, yeah, we'll see you around.